Since Dean Mahomet opened Britain's first Indian restaurant 200 years ago, curry has remained a national treasure. For this year's National Curry Week, we're taking you to Cafe Spice Namaste, where we're going to find out what's cooking. It's here behind the scenes in the kitchen where all the magic happens and where award-winning executive chef Cyrus Todiwala prepares his mouth-watering feature entree for this year's National Curry Week. Yeah, we have actually designed a special dish with uh, Welsh lamb. And uh, for every portion sold, we are donating two pounds towards the charity. So, yes, since Monday, quite a bit has been moving. So, yes, money is being collected. That's good. Hopefully, we'll be able to put a little bit in the pot. Along with exquisite food to tempt your palate, Curry Week also serves another purpose, giving to those in need with the Curry Tree Foundation. The whole idea is that rather than give the money to a large charity, of which we don't have control sometimes, the whole idea is to put it into a trust, and then the trustees are tasked with the, with the job of making sure that this money that belongs to the restauranters rightfully goes to the right causes. What began in 1997 as National Curry Day has now evolved into a week-long celebration of rich culture, great food, and fun contests. Somebody made the biggest onion bhajia in the world, so-called. We made the biggest shik kebab a couple of years ago, oh, wow. and we made a kebab that was 40 feet long. Oh. It, it was madness, but we tried it. We, <laughs> we snaked it around this room. And we actually managed it without any big breaks in between. I went to the curry capital of London, Brick Lane, to see what curry means to the people. Would you agree that uh, curry is Britain's number one favorite food? Uh, it was definitely mine, so. I wouldn't say I had a favorite. I like curries. I like them to be spicy, not necessarily too hot. I like tikka and I like tandoori, so really I pretty much like it all. For a full list of participating restaurants, visit www.nationaleatingoutweek.com. So whether it's a mild curry you fancy or a fiery vindaloo, there's no better time than National Curry Week to test your taste buds. Bon appetit. Candace Cole, East London Lines Today.